everyone. It's Jamie Zebra 23. This is part two of your protection protocols. Okay, so I was talking about cloves. Cloves stop slander. Cloves stop that. So what you could do is um, if you're doing a return to me, um, not a return to me, not a return to me, a return to sender. Okay, you take a black candle. All right, you get, you get some anointing oil and you take the black candle. Of course, you clean it, you cleanse it, you prepare it, you do whatever, you carve, you carve in the candle, return to sender, return to sender, return to sender. Um, what you do is you take uh, ground cloves, red pepper, cayenne pepper, and some um, uh, black pepper, okay? You mix it up, you make a line of it. You make lines of these, okay? And then with the anointing oil or whatever oil you're gonna use, you roll it away from you because you don't want it to be near you, okay? You get all that good stuff all over it. And of course, you know, whoever, whoever the person is, you can carve their name in. If it's known or unknown enemies, what you can do is you can write on a piece of paper, known or unknown, okay? Um, if you do know the names, write the names. If you don't know the names, write the names of the people you suspect. And then, um, and then also put uh, also unknown enemies, hidden enemies, because you may have a lot of enemies you don't know. So, okay, and then you light that sucker. Um, what I do is I like to uh, I like to go to the dollar store and get one of those mirrors. They're, they look like picture frame mirrors. But what you what I do is I tilt it up against the wall. So the, so the candle is like this. This is the wall. The candle is here and my mirror is like this. That's what, how I do it. Okay, because that way it mirrors it all back to the, to the sender. All right, guys. So not only that, um, yeah, okay, so you, what you can do is if you don't have ground clothes, if you just have whole clothes, you can put it in your pocket, you can shove one, you know, in your purse, whatever. Same with garlic. Garlic protects money. Um, garlic does a lot of things. Garlic, like I was telling you in the other video, wards against evil spirits is sea salt. Take sea salt baths. Um, you could, you could uh, sprinkle this around the per per permitter. Per per I don't know. <laughs> I, I have a loss for words. Okay, you can sprinkle this around your um, around your home um, to for protection. Sea salt is cleansing. Sea, sea salt is natural. Um, spirits don't like it. Also, what you could possibly do is you could um, you could also take a bowl, a glass bowl, and you could dump the sea salt in it, and just set the intention that all the negativity go into the into the uh, sea salt, and then dump it out the next day in the trash. All right, what else? There's a few other things. Okay, cinnamon. Cinnamon is great. What you can do is you can mix a little bit of cinnamon in your coffee to set the intention of drawing in money. And you can drink your coffee. Just a little bit will do. Um, there's so many things. And when it comes to manifestation, um, to manifest, you, you don't really... You need to just visualize. You can close your eyes and visualize. Whatever whatever financial prosperity means to you, visualize that. Some people, it's buying their kids toys. Some people, it's you know being able to open their wallet and not be like, oh no, do I have enough money and counting change. Whatever your vis visualization is, there is no specific one, okay? But yeah, so the perimeter, you definitely sprinkle this all around. Um, as far as uh, the 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 um, the red pepper, yeah, that that cuts that that just stops people from focusing on you, stops the slander, stops the gossip, stops the focus, makes them step away. Um, you could even do cayenne pepper on your doorstep to keep the evil people away from you. Um, you know, guys, all this stuff is like it's not it's not so you'll be like, oh my god, ah. No, this is all about empowerment, so you're not freaking out. You need to live your lives. A lot of you are like, I heard a bump in the night. Now I can't get out of bed. Something's blocking me. Something's stopping me. Okay, what would you do if it was a, if it was a real live person that was telling you, you know, blocking you or bullying you? Would you just go home and cry? Or would you be like, fuck you, I'm going to do me? It's the same thing with energetic attacks. Are you going to let the energetic attacks control you and take you down? Or are you going to say, fuck you, I'm going to live the best life I can possibly live? Oh, something's blocking me from having a boyfriend. Go find an effing boyfriend. Or are you gonna let the are you are you gonna let the the, the attack stop you? Because that's okay. The, it sets the intention. It sets the energy of that. But your but your energy can absolutely overpower whatever is being sent to you. So if somebody's trying to make you stop money, so so what you do is you manifest money. You know what, whatever the attack is for, you need to counter that. That's your job. That's that's your job as a human being is to be able to be empowered. God gave us a, you know, a mind, two arms, two legs. God gave us everything. 
to use, to use to our best ability. You know, God's not going to water your plants. You can't be like, God, please water my plants. Don't go to the faucet, get some water and water your own damn plants. Of course, be, be thankful, be grateful. Of course, pray for the things that you, that you need, but also in turn work with it. You know, you, you have to manifest what you need to make your life a success. Nobody's in charge of your own life but you. All right, guys, ta-ta for now. Have an amazing, I think it's, yeah, it's still May. All right, ta-ta for now.